If you want to become a successful civil engineer, subscribe to our channel. For instant updates, press the bell icon. Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to see how to assign reinforcement to the beam in rivet structure software. Okay, so first of all we have to see our project browser, right, in our every video. So this is our project browser, here we have two structural plans, level 1 and level 2. So I will be in my level 1 structural plan, so this is my level 1, I have two grid line in x axis, two grid line in y axis, okay. now. I have to assign the beam so for assigning beam or for creating beam or for drawing beam we have to go in the ribbon in the ribbon we'll go to structure tab and in the structure tab first option is for the beam okay so I'll select here the beam option after selecting the beam option in left side on the properties palette we'll get the default loaded beams okay so out of this default loaded beams we'll sell uh, we'll have here concrete rectangular beams and universal beams so will select your concrete rectangular beam from that will select 16 by 32 size okay if you want different size you can select on a different size also now I am selecting here 16 by 32 okay after selecting that I will go to modify place beam means if you want to draw a different shape from the top view so you can select from here but I will select here a simple line only ok so I am selecting the line I will go at the top here I will check the placement plane as a level 1 then structural usage automatic and if you want to switch on the chain option you can on or if you want to switch off you can switch off there is no use of it right now now I will drop beam from here to here now this is our beam ok now this is the 2D view top view of beam now we will go to see the 3D view for 3D view we will go to view option view tab and in view tab we will select here 3D view after clicking on the 3D view this is our beam 3D view right so uh, for this beam now we have to assign the stirrups and main bars so for assigning stirrups and main bars we will go to here flow plan now after going to flow plan now we have to create the section here section because for assigning reinforcement to the beam we have to create a section so for creating a section I will go here in the view tab then I will select here view section now where you want to draw where you want to have section you can draw the line there suppose I want uh, here in this area so I will draw a line here and I will make the section here now this blue color dotted line what you are seeing this is the view limit or view boundary or view size of the section view you can if you want you can reduce or increase the view I, I want this much so I will select only this much area now for viewing the section we have to click on the arrow if we click on the arrow we go to the section view now this is the section view from this section view we have to hide the grid line and level line ok so for hiding that line select the grid line and level line now right click then hi select hide in view then after selecting hiding view select by element or element ok now this is our beam so for this beam we have to assign the reinforcement ok so for assigning reinforcement first we will click on the beam section view then here in the modify structural framing tab we will get here last corner right side reinforcement option so click on the rebar and you will get this window click ok then you will get the rebar shape browser from rebar shape browser select rebar shape t1 ok so for that you have to drag down ok now from here select rebar shape t1 after selecting rebar shape t1 uh, you uh, we modify place rebar we have to set the placement plane placement orientation and rebar set ok so after setting this thing now you can come to your uh, section view now we can assign the stirrup here ok so I am assigning my stirrup like, stirrup like this so this is my stirrup over here but we have assigned only one stirrup now we will go to the 3d view so this is the 3d view of our beam the stirrup is not visible if we click on the beam then the stirrup will be visible so for uh, viewing the beam, uh, stirrup without uh, clicking we have to increase the transparency so for that select the beam right click 
then uh, you'll get the, this window in that select of, uh, override graphics in view then uh, increase the surface transparency transparency then we can easily see the stir up over here now select the stir up here and increase the number of stir ups means assign the layout properties so for assigning layout property go to modify structure riba and then layout select maximum spacing and here spacing you give as 120 okay now we are done means our stir up for the beams has been assigned okay so now we have to assign the main bars so for assigning the main bars again we will go to structural plan level 1 and we will go to the section view ok now here we have to assign the main bar so for assigning the main bars we will click on the beam and in the modify structural framing tab we will select your rebar and after selecting rebar we will get your rebar shape browser from rebar shape browser select the rebar shape 00, 0 ok then in the placement orientation uh, so in placement plane current work plane same then in placement orientation perpendicular to cover then layout will be single now assign the uh, your top bars side bar um, bottom bars of beams then side bars okay so this is how we assign the reinforcement means main bar and stir up to the beam i will quickly show you the 3d view of this beam so if you see here we have assigned the stirrups and beam uh, main bars by this we complete our process of assigning reinforcement to the beam in rivet structure software but if you still have any doubts while assigning reinforcement or editing reinforcement you can write us in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe our channel and share with your friends okay thank you for all your love and support thank you very much once again